welcome to the off-grid family tutorials um, today we're going to be working on how to increase the range of a Bluetooth device this here is a very cheap one off eBay I'll send a link in the description this one has a lovely little antenna but I wouldn't advise trying to get better range from wobbling it around here there and everywhere as in a second you'll see it won't make very much difference to it at all so let's get this opened up these are straightforward just to click together so get the screwdriver in and flick it up and oh look not even connected the antenna that they came with was literally just placed in there and purely aesthetic okay and this is the antenna this little wiggly woggly gold line here and what we're going to try and do is cut along this bit here stopping the antenna there and then soldering our antenna onto it this is the antenna we're going to be using so I want to cut away the heat shrink tubing along it this exposes the copper inner core of the antenna now I'm going to cut it quite close to the actual copper aerial part as I want to keep the rest of the um, antenna wire for another project in the future. Okay, so I've cut it here. Now all that's needed to do is shave off the outer part of the cable to expose the copper, which takes a little bit longer and it's a bit fiddly. Anyway, and then this is how we're going to attach it. So now we need to scrape off the antenna here and attach it to the bit that's left behind. This should be simple with a normal um, scalpel. So let's give it a go. Yeah, it simply comes off just with a little scrape. So there we go, just scraping off a little bit more to make sure that, it, that there is no connection there. There's a close-up of where it's been scraped back to the PCB. And to solder the whole thing together now, I place the antenna directly on the bit of copper we left of the antenna. I had to heat my soldering iron up a little bit hotter than usual to make sure it bonded. Okay, so here's a close-up picture of the final product. It's not too pretty, but it did work, but not by enough. I did tests before and after. Before I'd done any fiddling, it was about 10-ish meters line of sight, and I'm in quite a heavily industrial area, so there's a lot of um, different frequencies and stuff going on so 10 meters wasn't too bad um, after I'd finished doing all of the additions of the other antenna I found that there was a, between 15 and 20 so it wasn't enough to make the work I put into it warranted so back to the drawing board to find something that will work on a lot 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 longer range thank you for watching please subscribe Right.